For well over 130 years, our customers have depended on us to provide not just high quality glass, but glass that is consistent in color too. So how do we manufacture glass today that is the same color it was over 100 years ago? We do it by using chemical formulas or recipes. The original recipes were kept in handwritten journals. Today, we store them in computers. With a handful of exceptions due to changing environmental laws, our recipes are the same exact ones that we've used since 1888. In addition to making the same colors and color combinations that we started with, we have added many, many more over the years. Although the exact composition of our glass is a closely guarded secret, we can still tell you a bit about how it's made. Every morning, our batch man gets started early. Taking a list of colors that he needs to create, Tony heads into the batch room. The chemicals that create the actual colors are quite varied, from the commonplace like table salt, magnesium, and cobalt, to the more exotic like gold dust. Using a digital scale, Tony carefully weighs out exact amounts of the needed ingredients. Some colors may call for only one or two of these ingredients, others may require several. These pigments are a small but essential part of the overall batch. A large bin is used next. Just like an oversized measuring cup in your home kitchen, this bin is used to collect the major ingredients. Soda ash, lime, and other components are used in varying quantities. The largest ingredient by weight is, of course, silica sand. We use hundreds of pounds of sand in every batch. Once the bin has all of the major ingredients, the color ingredients that were prepared earlier are added. Now it all gets placed into a tumbler. Think of it as a giant mixing bowl. The tumbler spins the batch round and round until it's properly mixed. Once the tumbler's job is finished, the completed batch is transferred into a wagon where it will wait until the furnace room is ready for it. As you might imagine, Batch making is a very dusty process. The wagon of batch is moved to the furnace room. It is then shoveled into one of the day pots or one of the furnace pots where it is melted by being heated at extreme temperature. 